Zoe has become one of the strongest mid lane picks in the current meta. She's not the easiest champion to master, but spending some time with her can be highly rewarding because her top mains are almost unbeatable in 1v1 fights, and their mind games can completely shock their opponents. Speaking of which, let's jump to Dekiru, who used Hourglass twice to survive. However, Vager is still waiting to get his free kill. One of the oldest and most unique Zoe tricks still exists. I'm still figuring out how to master it, but I guess it's all about using protobelt and flash. However, I'm pretty sure it all comes down to the perfect sequence. First, you jump with your ultimate, then flash forward. Right before your ultimate teleports you back, you need to use protobelt to make the second move of your Q spell. Batatera is a new face on our channel. He's mastering Zoe and is already close to reaching Master Tier. This time, he repeatedly faces ganks from the enemy Pantheon in the jungle. Keep an eye out because when Pantheon went all in using Flash, we witnessed some inhuman reactions. At the last second, Batatera cast Sleepy Trouble Bubble to get rid of him. Okay, <laughs> Zoe is one of the most difficult champions to learn, which is why she has only a 2.5% pick rate. However, I can easily say that's a good thing because many players forget how powerful she can be. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is trying to chase her, as she can instantly turn around from a distance to one-shot you. Sparkle Yordle is a Zoe support enthusiast. As a support, you won't offer much peel, but you can land a crazy amount of poke and make long-range picks with your sleepy trouble bubble to give your team advantages before a team fight breaks out. There are even a few Zoe supports carrying games at the challenger tier. <laughs> Brett was already caught and can't get closer because he's the only one who can handle the enemies. That's why he can't go back to base and reset, as his team probably won't win the battle without him. He patiently waits to cast the perfect paddle star, and this is how he cleanly wipes everyone out one by one.
Zoe is one of the most unpredictable champions in the game. Thanks to her ultimate, she can one-shot you from far away, and the best part is that enemies won't even see you coming. This time, Bataterra stopped and used Ramus to gain more vision, creating an unexpected surprise for the enemy ADC. Warai had a lot of trouble because he tried to help his jungler. As it turned out, Jarvan didn't survive, and now Zoe is in a deadly position. No matter which way she goes, Rengar will be able to take her down. But there is one simple tip on how to deal with Rengar. You have slain an enemy. Nico. Oh, huge Seraphine ult. Oh, collateral. Gimme the Penta! Sin, just flip him, please! Let's go! I don't know As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.